How do y'all want to relax lives? I think it's time we play a little... Ark. Ragnarok. I am so confused. I don't think this command worked correctly. But I don't see anybody here. I'm pretty sure I forgot a slash on my command. And... Because I didn't get a server freeze. Uh, but I did run the... Well, I did type in the words destroy all dinos, I think is what I typed in. Wild dinos destroy wild dinos. What did I type in? Yes, but I'm pretty sure that just says that. I'm pretty sure... Whoops. Pretty sure that didn't run an actual command. And, uh... I do not see the thing that I was running it for. So... Interesting. Uh... I have, uh, unfortunately lost my Allosaur. Uh, I was pretty sure I understood what I was looking at, but I wasn't certain. And so I thought it could... I was pretty sure I knew what it was, but I thought it could have been another Allosaur. And that my... Mine was just playing tricks on me. And, um... Uh, and so... I thought, well, you know what? I'll just go ahead... And... I'll try to sneak in there anyways. Uh, and, uh... Oh yeah, ancient sword skin. I like that. Um <clears throat> and so Yeah, so this is this is how I started my day. I jumped on my Allosaur and uh I'm like, alright. What is that? Just the weird looking rock, right? Why are you different color than everything else around here? Why are you strange, rock? Oh, just that side of it. Weird. Uh and uh and so I came up around down through there uh along the cliff edge looking for for metal rocks, I harvested over 200 pounds of metal rock. So over 200 metal rock. And, uh, metal. Metal. Let's just say metal. And, uh, and I was coming up this way to look for more. Uh, in fact, I came along through here, and I didn't see any. <clears throat> and, uh, I came up through here... And I harvested some, and then I went out this way, and when I came around here, uh, I think I harvested one from here, and then I came up on this hill here, and down there in the valley I could see a big green carnivore. I was pretty sure I was... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't die, don't die. I was pretty sure I was looking at a Gigantosaur. But I thought it could just be an Allosaur, and I was confused. Because why would a Gigantosaur spawn this close to my base? Uh, and, uh... <clears throat> so I fired... Trank arrows at it. And it got really close... Uh, but I was up on the hill, and so it couldn't get to me. And so I kept firing Trank arrows, and then all of a sudden it turned and started running away from me. And so I followed it, but what it was really doing was turning around. And, uh, and so it... It just turned around and chomped me. Uh, and the thing with the Gigantosaurs is... They do massive amounts of damage. 
apparently. And so I was just dead. There was no no two bites, no nothing. I was just dead. Dead, dead. No more. So, then I come back on Orange Zebra. And uh, he is biting on my Allosaur. Uh, and my Allosaur is not dying. Uh, but he's bloody when I get there, and so I'm like, ooh, maybe maybe he's hung on the rocks and he can't quite reach him. So I tell my, my Allosaur to follow me, and uh, and then I take a few steps, and then the Allosaur dies, and then the Gigantosaur runs up and then bites me again and kills me and Orange Zebra. And, uh, and so I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, well, I need to go take some something for my headache anyways and so I go to take something for my headache uh, and when I come back down I'm like all right what's the what's the wild dino command and uh, it just says destroy wild dinos so I type that in but I didn't get a freeze on my server so I don't think it worked because um, usually the whole game freezes for a minute and there's just a couple of Triceratops standing up there where the Gigantosaur was. So I don't know what happened to him. I don't really care. I'm just glad he's gone because that's ridiculous. I hate that. I hate that this game thinks it's okay to spawn giant, super high level... This wasn't high level. Super powerful Carnosaurs right next to your base. Like, why do you think that's fun? Like, out in the jungle? Sure. Out in the wilderness, okay, but this is my my area now. Move along. Uh, so I need a new saddle for this guy. Uh, saddle. Uh, Pelgornis Tyrodon. So I need hide and chitin. All right, hide and chitin. I'm pretty sure I've got those. You will note that I have one. One Pteranodon. One Pteranodon. Uh, and at the end of last episode, I had two Pteranodons and a Pelagornis. If you remember. If you saw that. Maybe you didn't see it. And so... Uh, a couple of things did happen along the way. Uh, one of the things is, I found this island that was covered in boxes. And I broke the boxes, and I found a bunch of stuff in the boxes. I only kept some of it. Uh, and what I did keep were swords. I found three swords in those boxes. Uh, I think there were some other tools as well. Uh, and so I've, like, crossbow and stuff like that. I, I just kept anything that looked like it was going to be super useful to me. Uh, something that I normally use so that I don't have to rebuild it. And uh, so that's that's awesome. That's really awesome. But I wouldn't have found that island, uh, probably. Uh, if you remember, I said... Uh, well, if you saw it, uh, I was going to fly back with my people. Uh, my people, my... Uh, my three flying mounts, uh, who the one up on the hill here is not the hill. The house is not one of those mounts. This was a spare. And um, I instead decided to tame this dolphin and go pearl hunting. Uh, I ended up with uh, ooh, 100, and, 100 and some pearls, so I should have... Plenty of pearls when it comes to when it comes to uh, I put them in here. Time to work with them. 150. I got 100. And, I think I got 147. I had three already. Um, so, but uh, yeah, I uh, I don't know. I then decided to go ahead and 
uh, after getting the pearls, I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'm not recording. Uh, I'm not recording this part, so I might as well just take the slow trip back. And so there was uh, a bunch of sharks <laughs> near my near my uh, my dolphin ride, uh, and uh, so I ran him way up on the the sand. So they couldn't get to him, and so they were all huddled right around him. And so I went back and I told the, I told the uh, two Pteranodons and the Pelagornis to follow me. And then I jumped back on the, the Icky, my dolphin. And I told the dolphin to move fast because I needed to get past those sharks. And so I shot forward past the sharks. And all three of my flying mounts disappeared. Just vanished from existence. I don't know what happened to them. They were just gone. There was no... There was no death messages or anything. They just vanished from existence. Uh, taking my saddles, the metal I had on them, everything. Uh, so... Yeah, all that work to get out there and get those guys. I guess I needed pearls, so that that is something uh, that needed to happen anyways. But it would have been nice if I'd have been allowed to keep my flying mounts as well. Uh, not that it's hard to get pteranodons. It's just, how many of those buggers do I got to tame so they'll stay with me? The lack of metal rocks around here is annoying, though. Uh, but yeah, so I, I, uh, having no flying mounts, I had no choice but to bring the icky back. And so I, I flew, flew around with the, with the icky. Flew around, yeah, I totally flew around with the icky. No, I, uh, I s scouted around, uh, with the icky, um... Now you can see where it says me on the map. So all the way to the left side of the map is where where I was at. And so I came all the way back with the icky. And they're about uh, 25, 15. Uh, oops, that's not what I want to do. I want to close the map. Were a bunch of small islands. And uh, scattered all across those islands were the, the little boxes. I, I've never seen those before. Um, and so I, I they wouldn't open um, and so I took my axe to them and when I cracked them open they were full of stuff. It was it was a surprise. And, uh, and so I did I did come back with an icky. So I've got an icky. I lost three aerial mounts. I've lost my allosaur. I lost one of my horses uh, is weird it was definitely a weird few minutes in in my arc game uh, who expects a gigantosaur to spawn next to their base although uh, when I used to play on the center map um, for a long time um, Okay, so so about a year ago, I had to switch jobs, and uh, like my real life jobs, and the job I have now takes up way more of my time than my previous job, way more. Uh, we're talking like uh, we're talking like to a minimum of two hours a day more than the previous job. And uh, there for a while, it, it's more like, uh, what?
I would say it's probably a good eight hours more on average or more a week that I spend with this job than I did with the last one. Uh, and that does not include when we have overtime. And so uh, eight hours is a lot during the week. Uh, and so everything that I used to do during the week now piles up on the weekend. And so that reduces the amount of time. Plus, I've started playing um, uh, a lot of D&D, &D, which takes up many, many hours. And uh, so I used to play. Th there's a reasoning behind my segue here. My, my divergence, whatever. Um, I used to play this single player without recording it. Uh, I don't mean just this map. I mean I had a separate map I played for fun. <laughs> uh, not that this isn't fun. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm doing this for fun. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Uh, but uh, I used to play a separate map that I didn't record for fun because I had time. Uh, I also used to play on a multiplayer server, and so it was kind of my single-player experience. Ooh. Hello. Hello, you. You want to be my friend? <gasps> Why are there pearls here? There weren't pearls here before. Hey, Sharky Poo. Hey, Sharky Poo. Oop, you gotta get to the surface, buddy, or I'll drown. No, you gotta stay at the surface, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys... Yeah, that's right. Y'all just come along with me. I will lead you away from my base. And then I can go back and get those pearls. You just come on with me. Oh, one of them, one of them quit. Two of them quit. All right. Hey, buddy. So, uh, anyways, I used to play on the center. Uh, you know, I think I I loaded up the center map, right? Uh, and did some some recordings off of it, and my old bases were still there because I used to play. Like I said, what is that mess? That's just a horrifying mess of terribleness right there. Oh, that's one of those stupid fish. Is that what those uh, manta rays do now? They just hang out with the stupid fish. That's why you don't see them anymore. This is like a giant. How we doing? How we doing? All right. There's so many pearls here. And um, it used to routinely spawn crap like gigantosaurs right next to my base uh, on the center. And it'd make me so mad because, you know, I'd be sitting there, I'd build a base. Uh, just just the basic, you know, walls. Not even a roof, probably. And, uh, and I'd get, like, stone pipes in for water and stuff. And then either a T-Rex would spawn, or there'd be, like, three high-level raptors. And, uh... Or uh, a gigantosaur. There was a couple of times where there were gigantosaurs just at my base when I logged in. Uh, you know, and it's like, this is so ridiculous. Why are these things spawning on top of my base? Uh, I remember... Um, uh, and then on top of that, uh, I remember uh, when they would respawn me after my death... They would spawn me on, like, the opposite sides of the uh, the center island, which is where my base was at. And so, uh, 
So, uh, being on the opposite sides meant that I had to run all the way around the island, and you couldn't cut across the middle because it was full of of raptors and T-Rexes and uh, stuff like that. And, uh, and so the only way through would be around the outside along the beach. And so, you know, you'd be running along, running past the Dilos and, and stuff like that. And then, um, uh, once you were past the, the, the di there's so many pearls here. This is insane. Uh, and, um, and so you'd be going along, and then all of a sudden you'd turn the corner. There's a spino. Uh, there were like three spinos hanging out around the center island. And so you couldn't go anywhere. You'd just be trapped. And so you'd have to start a new base, and then you'd start a new base. And then uh, you'd be fine for a little bit, and then the T-Rexes would spawn in, and the raptors, and the gigantosaur. And uh, I remember at one point I... I shot the T-Rex and led him to the Gigantosaur, hoping they would kill each other. <laughs> uh, and it didn't, it didn't work out. It didn't work out well at all. Alright, I can't tell if I've got them all now or not. Uh, I see a couple more over here. I didn't see any more beyond these two, though, so I'm going to grab these two, and then we'll head back. I think I've got a ton of metal. Uh, I'm pretty sure the only... Provided I put that stuff someplace, the only thing I think I needed was uh, enough electronics to do... to do... Um, Oh, what's that thing called? I needed a... A... Socket. Is that what it's called? A plug? Pretty sure that's what I needed. Uh, so let's turn you on. And then under crafting, I need... I need an electrical out outlet, that's what it's called. Oh, I only need one more electronic. And then I need one of these. I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, look at this. One, two, three, four, five... 500, almost 560, almost 560, um, pearls. Dude, there's nothing in there. You guys seen some lights? I had some lights made at one point. I feel I probably had them on my person when I was killed one time. I'm afraid. Uh, dang it. Yep. I don't. I don't see them. Those are my places that they would be. That sucks. Okay. Now somewhere. Somewhere down in all this mess. Yep. Right there. Okay, so there's my socket. It's now attached. So now let's go make a light. Okay. Uh, turn on crafting. What do I need to make a light? I need two electronics. All right. Two. Let's take to make a refrigerator. 15 polymer and 10 electronics. Okay. 
So, craft... 10. And then craft... See, this will let me get up to 15. It said it would. This would be exciting if I can add a refrigerator in here, too. Of course, that means I'll have to start getting the oil for, uh... I already made the light, right? Yeah. Nice. Because the I already have the generator in place, uh, and. Ugh. Nice. That's a pain to make, too. Wow. And that's something I don't know if I'll ever be able to make. I want one really bad, but... Sweet. Alright. So, then what I want is... This should attach itself. Nice. Okay. And then we put one of these out here. Uh, just anywhere out here should be fine. I'm gonna put it right. Uh, actually, I should probably place it over here, I think. I hope that's close enough for it to attach. Yes, it is. All right. So that's attached. Uh, so as far as I know, do I have fuel in here? I don't have any fuel in here. I think I've got some fuel down here in my smithy. I do. Now, when I uh, when I had a generator like this on on um, we have light. We have light, and. A refrigerator. Oh, I'm surprised I can move. Oh, it will all... Oh, oh, weird. I had oil in there. Oh, you can't... Uh, you can't make jerky in the refrigerator. You have to do that in the... Alright, well, that's different. It's awesome. I love having power. Is that me? No. Is that you? Uh, didn't you have something in you? Oh yeah, just seeds. That's my box of seeds. Okay, let me see if I can uh, figure out the time thing here. So, if I don't want it at 6... 30. Uh, can I set it to 24? Or 0, 0. 
Yes. Yes. Check it out. It is nighttime. It is midnight. And I can see because I have powered lights. And I'm freezing to death because it's super cold. Look at that. You can barely see me because it's so nighttime. But you can see my base. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, at least today wasn't totally terrible. Alright, with that, click like if you like. Subscribe, share, and catch the next one. Hi, we'll talk to you later. <laughs>